Welcome to Expo Divided. I'm Red Ocelot. I'm Jack Silverson. We're very close to the end of the game now. Uh, the only things we have to do after at, up to this point is we go to the power room, we watch a cutscene, and then we go get Sherry. Indeed. And we watch the cutscene because it's awesome. Yeah, it is. It's pretty hardcore. Cutscene. Damn it, Annette, do you have to do that every single time? Yeah, apparently. Oh, by the way, Mr. X. We skipped that cutscene, Mr. X shows up. I'm pretty sure he killed. Or he didn't kill her, he couldn't have killed her because William kills her. You see how many, like, it took like three to four shots with the custom Magnum to take him down that time. Indeed. He gets stronger every time. He's like a Saiyan. He's a Super Sandwich. No, not yet. He'll get there. It'll be a super sandwich. Yeah, if you uh, know anything about the story of Resident Evil, the viruses, the G and T viruses, are made to where if the host is incapacitated but not destroyed, their mutation will continue. They will become stronger, which is why we've seen uh, Willie B turn into such hideous monsters. Oh, and it, uh, we're, we ain't even at the tip. We ain't even uh, at the tip of the iceberg. No, we 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 haven't even scratched the tip of the iceberg yet. Oh, hi, Dan, oh, hi. You got here fast. Wait, hi you there, here buddy. Me? I don't think he did get here before you. He just jumped down from Run. somewhere. He is Where? going to beat the hell out of Ada Wong here. Look at this. Run where? She's going to shoot him in the face a bunch of times. Oh, look what he... That thing got to be made of, like, steel or something. And he just, like, uh, cracks her across it. Hi. And now he's, his arm's going to rise up, and he's going to give him a thumbs up as he sinks into it. Yeah, because uh, stuff falling into lava, mid-90s, this, this is all Terminator Please. references oh, right here, fuck buddy. Fuck yes, it is. No. We're a team. I can't just leave you behind. It's so heartfelt. I'm I mean, it would be if the voice acting wasn't so uh, terrible. Indeed. <laughs> Not nearly as bad as the first Resident Evil, but it's up there. Yeah. This is a, a really good game, in my opinion. I'd forgotten we picked up the side pack. I've, uh... Ada. I must have spaced out when we did no. that or something. Ada, no. Ada, no. <laughs> Ada! The self-destruct sequence has been activated. I will always remember you. Goodbye, Ada. Goodbye. She's not dead, by the way. No, nope, she'll get back up. She's like a zombie. You can't, you can't keep her down. He's a trained police officer, correct? Yeah. How does he not know how to tell if someone's dead? Well, he's a police officer, not a coroner. Yeah, but police officers are trained to do some of that, too. Well, this is a late 90s game following a Midwestern American town made by a Japanese company. Uh, I guess so. So there's your answer. That explains a lot. Or maybe Aid is just really, really good at playing dead. Yeah. That explains everything. Uh, there we go with the Ego Raptor references again. Shut up. I enjoy the comedy stylings of Aaron Hansen. Yeah, I prefer the uh, comedy stylings of uh, Lee Daniel Abaddon. And. Now we gotta put away like so many things. Gotta put away that damn thing finally. Oh yeah, we healed the poison too. Finally. Yep. We finally did that. We are going to fill our inventory with healing items now. And then I go back into the menu uh, because of something else that gets mentioned. And I'm gonna put these right back. 
because uh we forgot about the uh i get reminded that the, S yeah the in plug and s plug at the end of the game gotta put the c magnum back on the c magnum it's a magnum of c's yep c is for magnum and that's good enough for me <laughs> e e is for pants <laughs> I haven't seen that in years, but I know exactly what you're referencing. <laughs> ah, oh, I missed that show. Wonderful show. Everybody should watch that show. We're not even going to name it. You just got to figure real, that out for yourself. Real ugly animation, but that was probably the point. Yeah. It's kind of meant to be a parody of Happy Tree Friends. Yeah. Which is kind of funny because most of the time Happy Tree Friends paradises itself. Yeah. Happy Tree Friends is kind of meant to be a parody of uh, cartoons in general. Uh huh. Uh, especially like stuff like Tom and Jerry. Or that's how it seems. I don't know if that's what the creator intends, but it very much seems to me to be a parody of stuff like Tom and Jerry and Roadrunner where uh, heavy violence is shown, but uh, it's more like implied injury. Meanwhile, we get back to work. I mean, uh, since we're doing a post-commentary, we're not as invested in the game, I guess, or at least I'm not. Uh, considering we've seen this three times by now. Yeah, it's, it kind of gets at you. I, th yeah, we're about to... Uh, get to Mr. X, the final battle of this game. It's uh, as he assumes his final form. And it's a bit of a ba it's a bit of a fight, I mean. Yeah. Turn around like a fucking ragdoll. Oh, uh I was playing the demo of Resident Evil 7 last night. Oh, really? The updated version, the Twilight version. Oh, the Twilight version. We can talk about that on the next episode because uh, we're about to have a cut here. We're going to get to that, though. Yeah, you pick up a key to open that door and then immediately use it and throw it away. And here's where the timer begins. You have five minutes to solve the final puzzle of the game and defeat Mr. X Form 2, or the game's over. Completely over in our in our case. Yeah, we didn't save this whole time. Next time on Expo Devoted, we'll do that. <laughs> <laughs>